Hello everyone, this is our top 10 list. Today, we will show you the top 10 kings of the great Mongol Empire founded by Chinggis Khan. Number 10, Tumen Zazak Khan. Tumen Zazak Khan was born in 1539 as the eldest son of Daraisun Khan, a cousin of Chinggis Khan. He was one of the kings during the internal conflict of the empire and ruled the North Yuan Empire. During his reign, he was able to reunify the Mongolians. And as the king from 1558 to 1592, he united the Oryanghai, Darhat, and Oyrad Imax, influencing the recovery of the empire. He was also really well known for being a very, very strict disciplinarian. Number 9, Bodalak Khan. Bodalak Khan, born in 1504, sat on the throne in 1519, the year of the White Dragon. He was the eldest son of Batmuk Khan, another cousin of Chinggis Khan, and succeeded his father as his heir. At the start of his reign, it was full of chaos due to the internal strife of the warring nobles. Bodala Khan stopped the three-year war and those chaotic conditions, and he also suppressed the Uryanhai Rebellion in 1544, ruling a much more stable empire until he passed away in 1547. Number 8. Esentaish Khan, the only Khan of the Mongol Empire who wasn't a blood relative of Chinggis Khan. He was born in 1407, the year of the pig, as the son of Taishin Khan's prime minister, Togon Taish of Oyrat. Esentaish Khan united Mongolia with his powerful army and became the Mongolian Khan in 1452. He also fought against the Ming Dynasty successfully, winning the legendary Tumu battle. Now, although his reign was short, passing away in 1455 at the age of 48, he was able to unite the Mongolians in an extremely short time. Number 7. Ligdin Han Ligdin, who was the last Han of Chinggis Khan's bloodline, was the son of Buyan Tsetsen Han. He was born in 1592 and ruled Mongolia for 32 years since he sat on the throne in 1604. Ligdin ruled North Mongolia, South Mongolia, and West Mongolia. In the beginning of the 17th century, Ligdin addressed the Mongolian Hans and nobles to protect their land together and to fight against the Manchu's expansionist policy. He fought against Manchu's aggression for his whole life, ultimately dying at the age of 42. Number 6. Batmuk Dayanhan Batmuk Dayanhan was the king who ruled Mongolia for the longest period, 47 years. Born in 1464, the year of the monkey, he sat on the throne in 1470, the year of the tiger, when he was just 7 years old. He was written in the history as the king with an ox cart. Batmuk Dayanhan was also able to improve the relationship between the Mongolians and the Ming Dynasty. During his rule, Mongolia was peaceful until he divided Mongolia to his 11 sons and one daughter, which actually started the civil wars. He passed away in 1517 when he was 53. Number 5. Munk Han Munk Han was the fourth great Han of the Great Mongol Empire. He was the grandson of Chinggis Khan and was born in 1208 and began his rule in 1251, the year of the pig. During Munk Han's rule, the Great Mongol Empire conquered and ruled the Abbasid Caliphate, the cities in Syria, the Dali Kingdom, the South Song Dynasty, and Korea. Also, William of Rubruk, the messenger of King Louis IX, met with Munk Han. From Europe, to the Armenian king Hetun II, also came to Munk Han's palace to establish relations with the Great Mongol Empire. Munk Han died in 1258 when he was 50. Number 4. Guyuk Han Guyuk Han was the third Great Han of the Great Mongol Empire and he was the eldest son of Ugre Han and the grandson of Chinggis Han. He is known in history as a Great Han even though he only ruled the Great Mongol Empire in a short time, which is between 1246 and 1248. Guyuk Khan was a famous general, and he led several wars to the south and to the west. Also, he sent a letter to the Pope of Rome, and the original writing of his letter is kept in the Vatican. Guyuk Khan was the first to organize the population census in the Great Mongol Empire, and he died in 1248, going for the war to the west. Number 3. Kublai Khan Kublai Khan was the fifth great Han of the Great Mongol Empire and he founded the powerful Yuang Empire in Eastern Asia. He was the grandson of Chinggis Khan and after the death of Mung Khan, who was his eldest brother, he came to the capital city, Karakorum, and won the war between him and his younger brother, Arigbuk, to sit on the throne. So Kublai Khan founded the Yuang Empire and ruled the Golden Horde, the Ilkhanate, and the Chagarai Khanate. He ruled one-fifth of the world from the Pacific Ocean to the Ural Mountains, 
from Siberia to Afghanistan. His name became famous in Europe by Marco Polo, and Kublai Khan died in 1294 at the age of 78. Number 2. Ugre Han Ugre was the third son of Chinggis Khan and the second great Khan of the Great Mongol Empire. He ruled in 1229 after the death of Chinggis Khan in 1227, which was decided in a meeting by a group of Mongolian nobles known as the Great Kuriladai. Ugre developed Karakorum, the capital of the Great Mongol Empire, into the center of trade and governance. Also, he founded the first posting system named Morin Urtu. He organized some wars to South China and Europe and expanded the border of the Great Mongol Empire. He died in the year 1241. And number one, Chinggis Khan. Obviously, the great Han Chinggis, who is the founder of the Great Mongol Empire, comes to the first of this list. He was born in 1162, the year of the Black Horse, and he suffered a lot when he was younger. When he grew up, he united all the Mongolian clans and founded the Great Mongol Empire in 1206. During his life, he expanded the border of the Great Mongol Empire and conquered most of the Asian and European lands. After he died, his sons and grandsons continued his aim and conquered almost all of the land of the world that was known at the time. Chinggis Khan was a very innovative and influential character in his era, developing the Great Mongol Empire that could be globalized the most of the time, establishing the foundation of the present social system, granting religious freedom to his conquered lands. His influence is so widespread, it's amazing and deserves number one rightfully so. And that was our top 10 kings of the Great Mongol Empire. Think the order should be different? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe. Yes! See y'all later.